And this is the final ranking. So here I have my top 10 favourite books from the original series. So starting at my 10th favourite, we have book 48 in the series, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. This book was made into an episode, a very good episode in fact, which I recommend. Uh, great book, very good twist ending. So yeah, I do recommend this book. It did not make it to the number one spot because, not that it's a bad book, just the other books are better. Okay, now moving on to number nine, we have The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. This book was in the movie. It did have an episode, well, I think two episodes made because of it. Very good book, very scary. Great twist ending, great book as a whole. And as always, I do recommend it. And if you have not read any Goosebumps books, go, go read them. They're good. So yeah, The Wealth of Fever Swamp. Next we have The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. So this one did not make it into the movie. Um, hopefully it's, it's maybe in the second movie. Um, but this one did get a redesigned cover because it is a very good book. It is all about camp, obviously, because it's Camp Jelly Jam. Um, it's really cool, like the start, how they actually get to the camp. I, I love that part. Good ending. Great book. Moving on, we have The Haunted Mask, probably the most famous Goosebumps book. This one was the first episode to come out. It was in the Goosebumps movie, but not as one of the main ones. Um, yeah. I think this one is R.L. Stein's favourite, who is the author. Great twist ending, by the way. It did get a sequel as well. Next we have A Night in Terror Tower, another one of the first episodes, two-parter episode, actually. The ending in this is like, oh my gosh. Uh, this one's set in London, at Terror Tower. And it's a very good book. Uh, watch the episode as well, that's also quite good. Next we have The Blob That Ate Everyone, another Goosebumps episode, and another um, character that was in the movie. By the way, The Executioner was in the movie, but just not as much as The Blob. Um, this book has a great cover, just, just look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, um, the twist ending, very good. This is one of the later books. I think it's the last book, like the latest book that actually got a new cover. And it kind of relates to R.L. Stein because it's all about someone who likes writing scary books. So, yeah. The other problem is, in the movie, he wasn't like this. He was just a blob of jelly literally on the ground. I, I, it, it looks cool though. Next we have Night of the Living Dummy 2. This is my fourth favourite book. Very scary. Probably the scariest Goosebumps book, in fact. Great to a standing. This was the first Night of the Living Dummy uh, book to be made into an episode. Because Night of the Living Dummy 1, for some reason, didn't get an episode. Um, great ending. It kind of, like, in the episode, it tells you more about the ending. This one's kind of a cliffhanger of, like... It's like, I don't really want to ruin it actually, but the, um, the episode explains the ending a bit more, so yeah. Next, my third favourite book is One Day at Horrorland, which got an entire series of 19 books, plus a two, series 2000 book, just because of this one book, which literally blew up. It's so good. It's about a haunted theme park. This did get a two-parter episode. Probably my favourite episode, in fact. Yeah. It was quite different, though, to the book. The episode was different, and this was one of the first books I ever read. Now, in second place, we have Stay Out of the Basement. Oh, my gosh, the twist ending. The episode of this, fantastic. But the ending will literally blow your little ten-year-old kid mind. It is fabulous, this book. I love it so much. This would be my favourite if the one in the number one spot, like, obviously wasn't here. 
I just realised how obvious that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay out of the basement. Great episode, great book. The book was better than the episode, though. Scary as well. Now, my favourite Goosebumps book of all time. This is better than all the Horrorland ones and everything. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. The ending of this literally made me drop the book. It is so good. I got this one in the American copy, by the way. The episode, mm, not as good. Not really as scary. But the ending, everyone, and the cover art is so good on this book as well. Everyone just go read this book, then go watch the episode. Fabulous. Welcome to Camp Nightmare is amazing. It was only the ninth book in the series, I believe. Um, and by far the best. So they were my top 10 favourite Goosebumps books from the original series.